Very, very similar, believe it or not. Uh, how old are you, Walt? 83. 83? Yes. Awesome. And, and that's, all, that's your only health issues? Uh, hypothyroidism. Okay. Well, they're all connected. Here's the deal. Glaucoma is, uh, is caused by cells and inflammation that are affecting the way fluid is drained from the eye. You've got these little valves uh, that open and close, and when those valves get clogged up, fluid starts to build up. Cataracts is ca- are caused by a, a breakdown or a problem with the way cells are growing on the lens of the eye. So basically what you got is inflammation and cells not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And in the valves, it causes glaucoma. On the lens, it causes uh, cataracts. But it's basically cells that aren't growing correctly, secondary to inflammation and probably sugar. So what you got to do, Walt... As with uh, our last caller, Cindy, and everybody else who calls the bright side, is we got to figure out, number one, why, these, why this inflammation is starting to build up and why cells aren't dividing like they should be. And that usually means some kind of digestive system breakdown, especially as it regards fats. Uh, because fats are the hardest, uh, they're harder to process and they're harder for the body to utilize than, than water soluble nutrients. So look to fatty nutrients and look to uh, fatty, sub, uh, fatty uh, phytonutrients, nutrients that are in vegetables. Those are your two main ways to treat glaucoma and cataracts, but there's a couple other things. I'll give you those in a minute. Look for vitamin A. Uh, uh, carotenes and flavonoids, these are nutrients that are found in vegetables and in fruits. Make sure you're mixing your vegetables and your fruits with some kind of oil, and it wouldn't, wouldn't hurt to heat them up just a little bit, either through steam or a little bit of roasting. Make uh, carrots and beets and a pumpkin. Anything red and orange is going to be especially helpful for the eye, but all vegetables will be. Uh, if you're going to do fruits, you want to try to do fruits that have lots of peel, since the, the good stuff is in the peel and not as much pulp. That's where all the sugar is. And then mix it up with butter, mix it up with oil, mix it up with coconut oil, and then, as I say, slightly heat or maybe crush up your fruits and vegetables to release these phytonutrients. And then the second thing is going to be the fatty nutrients, especially fatty vitamins, vitamin A, 20,000 international units a day is especially important for the eyes. Vitamin E can be helpful for the eyes, 400 international units a day. And then there's great minerals for the eyes, selenium. The ultimate selenium is very important for eye health, uh, 200 to 400 micrograms of selenium. And zinc is also important for eye health, 50 milligrams, 50, uh, milligrams of zinc picolinate is probably where you want to be. The next step is to work on blood sugar issues. Once your blood sugar gets thrown off and pieces of sugar float around in the blood, unprocessed sugar or, or, or uh, defective sugar, if you will, glycated sugar, they call it, or glycated proteins, I should say. That's uh, sugared proteins, caramelized proteins. That can affect uh, the lens of the eye. can also affect the valve. So making sure you're processing sugar correctly is the second thing for glaucoma and cataracts. You want to get on the Sweeties as soon as possible. If you're not on the Sweeties, do two or three after all your meals. Of course, the Healthy Start Pack, that's a, that's a must-have. Uh, I would throw in the the uh, uh, the ultimate, uh, sorry, the Biolumin Nightly Essence, the fermented foods to make sure that you're processing your foods correctly, and then also the ultimate enzymes after all your meals. There's a couple other nutrients that can be helpful for for blood sugar. We've been talking about arginine now for a couple of weeks. Arginine is an amino acid that can be helpful for blood sugar, maybe a gram or two a day. At the age of 80, you probably have some, uh, you probably could use some, arg- some of arginine's building benefits as well. So a gram or two of arginine can have multiple, m- multiple functions, uh, improve multiple functions in your body. The amino acid taurine is also very important for the eyes and very important for sugar control. It's also good for brain health. It has a nice relaxing effect. It's been used to treat seizure disorders. And taurine is difficult to find from food, so you're going to want to supplement with that maybe 100 to 200 milligrams a day. Don't forget about plain old, good old vitamin C, the primal panacea, very, very important for eye health. You might want to think about liquid vitamin C. You're going to get some in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, around 1,000 milligrams per two scoops, but it wouldn't hurt you to go get yourself some extra vitamin C and maybe do a quarter teaspoon or so in water. Oh, once or twice a day, and that'll help you in that regard. Of course, staying away from anything that spikes your blood sugar is absolutely, uh, absolute must, must, must have strategy for any eye health issues. Diabetes and eye problems go hand in hand. So treating yourself as a pre-diabetic or diabetic in terms of your food choices is also going to be important. And as I was saying to Cindy, and I've said so many times before, don't try to use willpower to steer yourself away from bread and pasta and sweets and cereal and fruit juice, etc., 
Eat more protein, whey protein and egg protein especially, but pretty much all foods are going to get you a little bit of protein. Whey and egg have dense concentrated protein. Fish protein can also help. And then mix your protein up with coconut oil or with some kind of fat, and that will help, help steer you away from those uh, blood sugar or insulin spiking foods that can wreak havoc on eye health. So you've got tons of stuff there, Walt. Uh, even if you do just a fraction of that, you should notice some, some serious differences. Uh, last but not least, and this is always the case with any kind of degenerative disease, Diseases, relax the body. Remember, you've got a, a relaxation nervous system and you have a stress nervous system. When the body's stress nervous system is activated, you will not find it, the body will not be able to heal, the body will not be able to repair, the body will not be able to recover. So activating the, the relaxation nervous system, it's called the parasympathetic nervous system, is very, very important. That means using deep breathing techniques, slow, deep breathing, telling the body that all is safe and it's okay for it to repair, making sure you're getting your micronutrients, your mighty 90 nutrients. That's another important strategy for activating the parasympathetic nervous system. And of course, psychological and emotional strategies are very important for all healing. We don't talk about this anywhere nearly enough, in my opinion, in the world of health or even on this program on the bright side. But please understand, you guys, there's a spiritual dimension to health. There's a mental dimension to health. There's an emotional dimension to health that are so important. They even trump the physical dimension, even though we don't address them anywhere near as much as we should. So being spiritually connected, feeling like you're part of God's plan, using mental strategies, good thoughts, kind thoughts, peaceful thoughts, using emotional strategies, love and, and joy and rapture and forgiveness. These are all so important when it comes to healing the body from a physical perspective. And, of course, making sure you're on those Mighty 90 Nutrients, the Healthy Start Pack. We make it so easy for you to do all that at Longevity. Thank you so much for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about autism and arginine. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful Beautiful day. We'll talk to y'all later, folks. Bye for now. Hey everyone, have you heard about the No No Hair Removal Device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host Cheryl for No No Hair Removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my No No. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No No has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the No-No, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible No-No hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. 